watching Sunday Sports Wrap on WCIA 3 News. For one final time in the regular season, Illinois lacing them up in a road environment. The 20th and final Big Ten game. Iowa needing a win to improve their NCAA tournament odds. The Hawkeye women don't have to worry about that. Caitlin Clark back in town after winning the tourney earlier today for the Hawkeyes. Quincy Garrier starts things out with a three. The Illini score the first eight points of the game. Hawkeyes missed their first nine shots of the game. Marcus Damask now driving the lane. Gets that to go and one as well. Illinois up big early on. Now it's the steal and then the run out to Garrier as he throws this down with both hands. Illini go up by as many as 21 in the first half. A double-double for Garrier with 14 and 13. Now Taryn Shannon Jr. the and one. He had more points by himself with 12 than the Hawkeyes had in the first 10 minutes in this one. But here come the Hawks. Brock Harding gets the lead down to eight going on a 16 to three run to get back in it. Coleman Hawkins trying to play just as well as he did last time these two teams played. Gets that to go and Illini back up a dozen. They take a 10 point lead into the half. Once they come out of the locker room, TSJ up to 23 points early in the second with another three going down there. But again, the Hawks making another run. They are not going away. Josh Dix with the layup lead down to four at one point midway through the second. The Illini missed eight of ten to allow Iowa to get back in a tough day overall for Marcus Damask. Just seven points to this point, but the turnaround here is pure. Starting to pick up some steam at that point. Now the Illini back up double digits again. A dish to Dane Danger as he has no one around them. Just laying that up off the glass. Timeout Iowa with ten to play. Nine points for Danger in 15 minutes off of the bench in this one. And how about a dagger from Terrence Shannon Jr. The dunk to seal it. Game high 25 points for him as Illinois gets the win on the road. 73-61. Surprisingly low scoring for both of these squads with the win Illinois improves to 14 and 6 in the Big Ten and finishes with a winning record on the road in conference. This is the third time in the last four years that the Illini have had at least 14 conference wins. So win or go home starts right now for the Illini with the postseason. WCIA 3 sports director Brett Behrens has more from Iowa City. Tasked with stepping up their defense, the Illini delivered in a big way, holding a potent Iowa offense to a season-low 61 points. An effort Illinois head coach Brad Underwood says is a blueprint for success in a stretch run. Yeah, we got to play that way uh, if we want to. If we want to make the run, we. We, we talk about. Underwood challenged his players to quote practice angry the past few days following a loss to Purdue, an approach that paid off with the Hawkeyes shooting just 35 percent on their home court. Tonight our defense won us the game. It usually it's our offense. So today we just came with the mentality of just defending, communicating, and stay together. You know we got it going just by our effort. I felt like I felt like that was because our last couple of days of practice, our last couple of days has just been really hard. We've been really trying to lock back in on our defense, um, and it showed. Sometimes they're ugly. And to do that against this team and their building, um, you know, means something because they're, they are a team that is explosive as heck. The Hawkeyes started the day squarely on the NCAA tournament bubble, but it was the Illini who showed all the urgency early as Iowa missed its first nine shots of the game, starting one for 14 from the field. After cutting the lead down to four midway through the second half, the Illini quickly responded with an 8-0 run to push it back to double digits, winning by 12. Got to huddle and, and everybody was positive. Everybody was upbeat. Coleman was 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 talking. Talking. Quincy was talking, um, you know, TJ's, you know, demanding everybody get a kill, which for us is three stops in a row, and, and they were saying all the right things, so I, I'm really encouraged by that. So it's on to postseason play for Illinois, who is the number two seed in the Big Ten tournament in Minneapolis, and they could get a rematch with this Iowa squad in the quarterfinals on Friday. The Hawkeyes face the Buckeyes in the 7-10 game, with the winner advancing to face the Illini. Reporting for your Illini Nation and I Iowa City, Iowa, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. Brett, thanks. We'll have more coming up from the game on the WCIA 3-in-1 podcast. Listen on your favorite podcast platform or on your IlliniNation.com. All right, we knew coming into the game, Illinois was locked into that number two seed playing at 530 on Friday at the Big Ten Tournament. But for the first time, 
I present you the Big Ten Tournament Bracket. Purdue, Nebraska, and Northwestern round out the rest of the double buys. Wisconsin's bad second half leaves them just the fifth seed, and Michigan State's one-point loss to Indiana has them as the eighth seed, and Sparty has to go through the Boilers side of the bracket. The Illinois side not looking too bad at all. It all gets started on Wednesday with Rutgers and Maryland from Minneapolis. The Illini women got...